Are you sitting comfortably? Why not? Hello, and welcome to Doctor Who Tales. And today, we will be re- SHUT UP! HEY! SHUT UP! I- I'm trying- HEY! YOU- NO! SHUT UP! SHUT UP! And today, we will be reading Doctor Who and the Doctor Who. Let's begin. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, Lord. Oh, damn shit. The Doctor? No, not that one. I don't want to go! Not that one. No. No. What? Who? Uh, yeah, that'll do. They found themselves in the home of the Daniels family of Southampton. And judging by appearances, they're in the distant Earth year of 2019. The Doctor did not steer them here. The TARDIS had taken them both by force, and the Doctor had no choice but to go along with it. He didn't mind, though, because as we all know, the Doctor is a cuck. Looking around this house, he admired the bland, white girl aesthetic. The white and oak wood furniture. The photos of loved ones on the wall, none of which looked familiar at all. But most strange of all, not a single person in sight. This is strange, thought the Doctor, out loud, in that dumb voice of theirs. Where are all the people in these photographs? Did something bad happen to them? An odd thing to be your first thought, but in the Doctor's life, it's usually the case. Red flag much? He looked around to the companion of this tale to realise he locked them accidentally in the TARDIS, so after letting them out, he asked again. Where are all these people from the photographs? The companion... No. No. Why? Dead. Dead. Uh, fine. The companion answered. In the photos, of course. Look, I can see them right there. The companion was really bright. Some would even say they're as dim as a Jadoon's asshole. But I wouldn't, because I'm not Volker. <laughs> but they were smart in other ways. For example, they knew exactly when the audience was getting bored, so would get the plot rolling by doing something stupid. Doctor! Look! The door handle! It's doing that thing the door handles do! It, it's... 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 turning! Said the companion in a blind panic. They then fainted for no clear reason. Cliffhanger. Credits. One week goes by. Titles. The doctor gave the companion a small kick. And they were back to normal! Cliffhanger solved! The focus was now back on the door handle, which had been slowly turning this entire time. The doctor got out the trusty tool, the sonic screwdriver, and locked the door. The being on the other side of the door then unlocked it again with a key, with the doctor locking it again with his sonic screwdriver. This goes on for an excruciating amount of time, before the doctor says his classic catchphrase. Oh, fuck it, let's just see what happens. The door opens to reveal <gasps> the man from the photos, who looks more confused and shocked than Jackie Tyler being rejected at a swingers party. Who the hell are you? Said the mysterious man. I'm the doctor, said the doctor. And this is my friend slash companion slash object. Oh, said the companion slash friend slash object knowing full well that the Doctor would kick them into a supernova if corrected or challenged. What are you doing in my house? asked the stranger, and... Oh no! That's all the time we have for today's story. I suppose it's time to go into the forest of the Night Garden. But I will give you one small hint as to where this story will end. It's all based on a true story. Good night.